Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 9 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about understanding and working with dependency injections. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 8 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. So let's all please try to do that as much as possible. Dependency injections. If you are from SpecFlow background, you should have worked with a dependency injection which is built in SpecFlow out of the box. So it's called as contest injection or dependency injection. So we have a dependency injection available in SpecFlow. We have already discussed about it a lot. But in Cucumber for Java, the dependency injection is not built out of the box in Cucumber Core or Cucumber JVM. Rather, we need to add an additional dependency called Cucumber Pico Container. So it's of course a Cucumber Pico Container, which is a dependency injection, but it is not available within the core of the Cucumber. So you need to add this dependency to enable this feature. So how they look like? Basically, they look something like this. So all you have to do is, it's pretty same, plain and simple. All you have to do is just add a variable with a private of type anything that you want and then you can just create a constructor for the step that you're going to perform the operation so currently we are going to perform the operation in the login steps so i am just creating a constructor for the login step and i am passing the base as the parameter for that particular constructor so if it is really not making any sense we will see how things works once we get started with it so for that let's see this in action and understand how things work I'm going to flip to IntelliJ for seeing how things works. So this is the same project which we have been working so long in our previous videos so far. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a dependency injection. So before starting to work with a dependency injection, we need to add the Pico container. So I'm just going to go to the Google and I'm going to search for the Pico container for Cucumber. So Cucumber Pico Container Maven Dependency. I have already searched that and it's there in my cache already. So I'm just going to go over here. And the latest version, I guess it's 1.2.5. So this is the one. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go over to the palm.xml file. And let's add the dependency over here. So once I add this, it will download the latest artifact for me and add that in my external libraries for this particular project. So it's currently downloading. It will take some time. Once it is done, you can see that the color will turn into white color. Hmm. It's not turning into white color yet. So let me change it to four. And you can see that it is resolving the dependency right now. I don't know what's wrong with the 1.2.5 version. It should be there. All right. So what if I change it right now? Hmm. Somehow it couldn't be able to download from the Maven repository. So I'll stick with 1.2.4. I don't think it's a major change though. So I'm just going to stick with that. And as I said in my slide, I'm going to create a simple class here. So for that, I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a folder. Let's call this package name as uh, base. And within this package, I'm going to add a base util dot class, right? And then here, let's say I'm going to pass the step informations for all the pages or all the steps, right? So uh, let's call this as public string step info. This is kind of dummy, but still I will show you what this step info is really going to make while I start working with it. So I'm just going to add a variable over here. And within this hook, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the base util, right? And then I'm going to create a constructor. So as I said, the rule of thumb for the dependency injection is to create a private variable for the base util or the type that you're going to extend and just call this as base. And then I'm going to create a constructor. The easiest way is to alt insert and constructor just insert that 
very very quick fair enough and now once it is done the same thing I'm going to do with the login steps right so what I'm going to do I'm just going to extend the base util over here and then let's create a private variable for the base util base util or maybe base whatever it is and then I'm going to create a constructor there we go I'm just going to save it and now what I'm going to do is from this particular hook I'm going to pass a value from the initialize test and I'm going to print that particular value into the login step, the first login step. Let's say something like this. Let's say in our next section of this particular video series, we're going to work with Selenium. So while that is the case, we will be passing the WebDriver instance object from the hook to the step of the particular feature file, right? So I'm going to do exactly the same thing over here. So passing a dummy web driver instance so I'm just gonna pass that value so I'm just gonna store the value into the base as let's call this as Firefox driver and since the type is uh, a string it's okay for now so base dot stop info is equal to Firefox driver something like that right and now if I want to access this step info from login step all I have to do is just need to print that value right you can just use the same thing over here as well all you can do is system dot out dot print ln the driver is something like that and then I can say base dot step info and now you can see that from the hook this particular step info the Firefox driver will be passed to the login step over here and it should be printed which means you don't really have to do anything I mean you don't have to pass the variable values from one class to another from some other way but the dependency injection will take care of this so if it's really not making any sense once I run this you'll understand what it is going to be looking like I have executed the test and it got passed and now you can see that the driver is Firefox driver so it is executing over here right and the driver is Firefox driver and the driver is Firefox driver it is being printed everywhere and it is actually coming from the hook right so this is very very important concept which is nothing but the dependency injection because this dependency injection concept is which we're going to use in our web driver while we start working with selenium right so once again thank you very much for watching this videos guys and have a great day